John Franco. Here we are in Accrington, the uh, Duncan Hall Hotel. But the work never stops. It's never stops. Sorry, wherever you are, is it? The transfer window. It's been very busy. Got a couple of new signings: Emilio and Sue, and their Czech uh, Cater. Can you tell us about what they hopefully will bring to the team? Well, I hope they they're gonna bring uh, quality, experience, obviously, uh, also uh, and energy. You know. Um, they have the, the type of qualities that we're looking for. Emilio is um, probably more offensive uh, player than than uh, than uh, Keita. Um, Czech is more. Uh, he's young, but he's is a more balanced defender. Very very good in both uh, defending and attacking. Uh, and I, I, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing him improving. Emilio has got also good experience. Uh, he has already won the, this league with the Middlesbrough, so I'm sure he will bring us uh, also that uh, know-how that uh, we need uh, to achieve that result. And with um, Czech Cater, he was a very sought-after player. A lot of clubs were looking at him, so it's a, a bit of a coup for the club to bring him in. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that is uh, also down to the good relationships we have uh, down in Italy. and. Uh, that is important, as I said, uh, everyone, I spoke to four or five different people and all of them, they spoke very highly about him. They say he's a potentially a very good player. Um, so we, we, um, we hope that he's going to be very successful over here. Kerim Frey, another new signing. What qualities does he have? Back in it's uh, it's it's uh, that type of player that uh, that uh, can break uh, they can make things happen from nothing and uh, it's he's got uh, talent is fast and quick in counter but also has the ability to take players on in small areas so he's, he's exactly the type of player that we need uh, uh, for the type of football that we are trying to produce. You mentioned that there's a definite you know transition in the personnel, the players and the style. Um, are you happy with the way it's going so far? Because it, it's, <laughs> it's been very quick, there's been a lot of business done. Yeah, a lot of business. Uh, um, um, obviously, uh, that um, that uh, we will need a little bit of time to us, uh, to, to settle, but uh, but I'm sure that uh, that it will be, it'll be quick. Uh, I wish that uh, p maybe there is also that w would have gone in a different way, but they would have given me more time to also to work with the players that I got. But uh, again, we are we need to produce results. So we were we are we've been put in the condition where we need to strengthen the team to make sure that we can get those results that we need uh, quicker. How frustrating has it been for you, the staff, the players? Not to get that win yet when, when you've been so close, but yet so far. No, it is frustrating because uh, you know it's. Uh, I see a lot of things uh, going well. There, there have been games in which uh, certainly deserve more than that. But uh, but uh, uh, this is the way it is. So we need to get uh, to be tougher because um, nothing will be given to us, and uh, therefore we need uh, to put something extra on the pitch. Um, doing well is not enough. We need we we do need to do exceptionally well. Uh, starting from tomorrow, which is going to be a tough game. Yeah. Moving on to Blackburn Rovers, what are you expecting from them, and what do you want uh, the Blues team to do for you? Well, I th I think uh, the, the obviously they will give uh, they will give everything because they have uh, they are in a difficult position, but they are they have good players. So. Uh, they will be. They will come down, and they will be pressing us, putting pressure, and uh, and trying to you know to break us down. Uh, from my team, I expect I expect them to play with the same tempo that they've been playing recently. Hopefully, improving our quality in the in the last third. That is, that is very important, and uh, and uh, a little bit more attention that uh, we didn't have in certain parts of the game against Newcastle. They they. If we do that, uh, I will, we're going to win the game. Are there any injury concerns for you? No, I don't think there are a few knocks, but uh, but not uh, not uh, anything uh, that worries me. So everyone should be available. 
just finally, Gianfranco, you, you mentioned to me the other day that if you settle, if you don't, if you don't strive to improve, you, you haven't got that ambition, you, you, you're settling for average. You're not going to settle for average in this job and with this team, are you? No, not really, no. And that's what I don't, I don't want to, otherwise I would be staying, staying home and playing golf. Mm -hmm. uh, it's... Uh, we we want to to get to a, you know a high level and uh, I know that will require time and work but uh, I'm willing to do that and I hope that uh, everyone else uh, has the same attitude and if not they will go somewhere else.